a friend of mine brought this into work the other day. It's a cock and lever of an air rifle. He's asked us if I could make one or two variations on it, sort of customise it a little bit. Um, maybe it's bronze one, brass one, stainless steel one. Hasn't got to have a ball end on. He suggested possibly a knurl end and then they could tape it out of that thread. So I'd certainly have a go at making one or two different designs for him. I have done quite a lot of aerial work before. I used to be very keen on shooting aerials and I did loads of spring guide tubes for uh, various aerials. I need to find out what thread that is and I looked at it straight away and I recognise the thread. I think it's quarter I and F. And sure enough it is quarter I and F. That served me time in a British Leyland garage in quarter I and F. Was a real popular thread, miserable as it may be. So I've got a quarter of one die there, which means I can put the threads on, no problem at all. I've got a bit of stainless steel bar, I'm out in the collar chuck and just have a little bit play around, making something that I think will look different. I think all I'm trying to do is customise that area for a little bit, which is people customise our cars and motorcycles why not customise your area for the piece of stainless here will use that make one of that first ah. bastard I think I'll leave it that diamond and make one that diamond at first and then slowly scale them down. Let me do two or three different diameters. So I'm going to put a knurled finish on there. When you're using a knurling tool, you must run things nice and slow. Then you cut oil. You're not actually cutting the metal, you're basically forming it. Best type of nail because it doesn't put any side load on your lathe. Right, it's put quite a decent nail pattern on. It's very, very tough stuff to nail stainless. Not ideal, but that'll that'll certainly do. part the piece off and then turn around, grip that part there in the collar chuck and then machine the probably a taper on there down the quarter half of the thread. You see that how much it's increased the diameter of the shaft by there's been a bar by it's quite handy, sometimes if you machine too much off and you want something to be a press fit, you can put a knurl on it and you can put a pull yourself out the shite a little bit with it. I think what I'm going to need to do here is put a backing piece into the, the rear of that collet.
Okay, that's better. First thing I did was turn this end on the quarter of the thread and then possibly just the top one side to put a nice taper on there. That's just about a quarter, that'll do fine. Just a little lead for the guy to start on to. Just the compound angle, and we're gonna a decent sort of Deeper than that, or a lot shallower than that, rather. That looks better. Just a case of trial and error, it's not critical, it's just whatever looks right will be right. I think I'll end up with a little bit more parallel shaft on here. I like the look of the taper, but the, it looks too heavy. The actual component looks too heavy. Go into the into the knurling. So I'll do two or three with different lengths of taper on here to say what he what he likes or doesn't like. Make a tail stock die well enough on this machine. I make jobs, it gets a lot easier. Let's cut a nice straight thread. Well, that's certainly a lot stockier looking. I'll make two or three different sizes and he can 
to say what he wants. I'll do it slightly different this way to see what happened to turn it around in the chuck. I can put the thread on the tape or whatever, then do this bit, then part it off the lens. I'm just not happy. I don't just do it like this chuck here, it's a right faff. Once it's in, it's a real positive lock, but it's I think I put a nail on there and just a shallow tape on each side of it. I'm going to take a little bit off the, the diamond I'd make this to make it slightly different, that's all. Down a bit. Quite nice, I like that. I put a thread on here now, part it off, turn it round, and just put the same taper on the back of there.
dive ball and escape are the same as this. There's a couple of variations on the theme. I like that one. That looks a bit heavy, but it depends what he wants. I'll do two or three more and then make one to talk to bronze or brass and see what he wants. I think it screws in onto that shirt. I think it goes onto that shoulder on the thread, I'm not sure. But I've left plenty of thread on so you can cut them the length. Show John your beard. Let's see your beard. Once again, I'd like to say a massive thanks for all the support my channel's had, and especially for all the help and support Deb's had, all the emails and well wishes that are coming in towards her, uh, both my wife and my dad. Thanks very much. Got the Nolan tooling upside down, you thick twat.